Hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Super Metroid. I'm your host, Pickle Level 72, and we're gonna get started off by exploring Red Boot Storm. Now, off the bat, you don't want to go up, because they you're gonna hit a dead end now. Instead, you want to go down. I can't pass these little annoying things. You shoot this box, and you find one of these grasshopper eyeball green eye Metroid like sucking your health things of doom. That's the official name, that's canon. You just need to bomb them, to dislodge them and kill them. And you'll be good. So, uh, one thing I will note is that I am doing a different type of upload recording schedule. It used to be that I'd feel an impulse to LP, do a video, and then upload it that very night, or like the next day or something. But now I'm actually doing it so that I record four videos all at one uh, time to be uploaded in the next week or so. Also, you want to shoot the uh, wall there. Usually, you need the uh, high jump to get up here, but we can just wall jump. So yeah, I'm recording. I'll be recording four videos at once and putting them up throughout the next week. In fact, it'll probably be three per week. That way, I have one extra in case I can't get around to recording the next weekend. So uh, expect more videos from me on a daily basis. Here we get the spacer, another beam upgrade. So now we got triple shot! And it's yellow and glowy and magical. Also it can be charged. So lovely. Alright. Also you can bomb somewhere here. Yeah, like that. Got a fall down here. I don't know if that's worth it, but, uh, I like doing it. It fits me. Anywho. Uh, if we go in here... Wait, what just happened with the map? We're... We're in somewhere new. Well, yes we are. We're in Meridia. Where's Meridia? Well, I don't know. But, uh, it's somewhere else, so must be important later. Ah, oh, here we have an elevator. We should go down, right? Wrong. Well, don't go down. That'd be dumb. Instead, you want to look at your map and see, oh hey, there's blue rooms over here. Well, can I go over here? Oh yes, because these squares are super missile squares. So let's get rid of them. You may be thinking, well why do you have to get rid of all three? You have to get rid of one to go through a bomb. Well, not necessarily, because this room is the entrance to somewhere. And obviously, we can't get up there without the high jump, right? Well, again, wrong. If you get rid of all three of these, Samus can run under. And if you can run under a Samus, you can kind of do a jump if you don't get hit by the ceiling. Like this. And, well, if you jump high enough so you, you can actually make a jump, that'd be good too. But, okay, you can, you kind of saw it there. The wall jump I can make. There, like that. See, you can make it up here without the high jump. Yay, sequence breaking. Also... The uh, spacer makes killing enemies a lot easier. And I like it. Let's get up here, we got Key Hunters, the original type that we saw earlier, but now we have a charge beam and a spacer that makes them a lot easier to kill. So yay for that. Also, something I forgot to mention with the charge beam, you can, uh, if you charge it up and jump with it, you get a pseudo screw attack. And if you hit enemies while in that pseudo screw attack mode, uh, if the, if you do enough damage to them, they will die, but you also lose the, uh, screw attack form. If not, then you'll lose the attack form and you get hit by them. So, uh, use in moderation. And only with enemies that you're confident you can kill with a pseudo screw attack. And I think it does the same amount as a charge shot, maybe? I'm not, don't quote me on that, I don't know. I'm not positive. I don't really end up using it that much. Because I just use up the charge shots, and usually I just spam the, uh, button as it gets my job done better. Also, these, uh, space pirates that used to be only killable with missiles can now be killed with the spacer. And, uh, Hey, we got missiles coming at us. Also, something about the pseudo screw attack is that it makes you invincible while using it. And oh god, it's Kraid! Oh god, kill it with fire! Oh god, oh god, it's scary! Oh god, hey, we beat Kraid! 
Man, I feel so good. I am good at this game. That was a difficult boss. But I put the view. Alright, you can shoot the ceiling here. Kinda go up. Shoot that. And you get a uh, missile and energy restock, but we already have all missiles, so we can just use the energy restock. I think it's the only one like it in the entire game that has both energy and missiles at the same place. I don't know if the missile is really necessary. A little detail here. Some guy kind of tussled and lost here. That kind of sucks for them. Here we have an Eidor. Shoot it with a super missile. It dies. Pretty easy. And what the? Uh oh. Door's gray again. Hmm. Last time this happened, there was a mini boss in. Oh god, there's rocks and what is going on? The music's scary. Oh god, oh god, it's actually great. It's actually great. So, uh, for grade, you shoot him in the, you sh thank you shoot him in the eye, shoot him in the mouth of a missile. And I will warn you, you better be good at, uh, wall jumping and not falling into spikes to beat this boss, because usually you'd have high jump and you'd be able to make a jump up there, but if not, you kind of have to do a wall jump off that. It's not a difficult wall jump, but, uh, you will have to be able to do wall jumps with this boss. If you, oops, I used a super missile. Come on. Stop that. And, ah! Stupid things. Little body dogs. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can also shoot him in the eyes with a uh, missile. By the way, uh, I think I forgot neglected to mention back when we got the missiles, but uh, if you hit Y, when you have something highlighted in your up menu, or whatever corresponds to Y in your control, uh, you will cancel that no matter where you are. So, like, if you got a super missile, you can just hit that, or here, you can just hit that, and, yeah. And Z cycles through them, so. Z, 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 Don't know why I feel like mentioning that now, but I feel it has to be said. Also, here we got the very suit. Notice we got it before the high jump boots. One of the bigger secret space that we're going to be doing in-game. So, uh, now we can go through this door. Well, we can go back through the door, yes. Pass the guy. Shoot these guys. That are helpful for restocking. Not like getting us super missiles. Although they don't always give you super missiles, even if you need them. Which sucks, but eventually they will. And, oh god! Kraid's back! This is the true Kraid, I'm sure. Nah, not really. Also, space pirates. Space pirates back. As if space pirates were any problem. Stupid space pirates. Also, the developers are kind of jerks in this area. Uh, you're gonna need a wall jump to get out of that, by the way. Hey! Stupid can't freaking. Oh, get out of here! Okay, there we go. Oh, so this area. We're kind of done with, except for one expansion, which you can't get yet. I don't know why the developers thought it would be a good idea to put in an expansion. Well, there's actually an expansion in here, but like, past this one. There's one more we have to get, and oh god, it's things! These things that I, I can't even remember what I called them in the beginning of the episode. What are you thinking? That's my prize with this, this room? Well, you can just shoot that for a knee tank. Don't ask me how you know that. Just kind of guess. If you got an empty room, especially when you get trapped in, chances are there's an E-Take. Well, not an E-Take, but an expansion. But anyway, we'll have to come back to this area one more time, much later in the game, to get one expansion. I don't know why the developers put it in, but they did. So, uh, now that we are, uh, done with that, we can now take down this elevator that we were supposed to take down to get the high jump boots. And that leads us to Norfair. And, because we have the various suit before the high jump boots, we don't have to make multiple trips here. Well, we do have to make multiple trips, but not as many trips. Here you can try to run over here, but, uh, you can't make that. Unless you use that thing I was talking about, that sequence break. But I'm not good at it, as I said, so I'm not going to be using it. Just a little note for later. 
And uh, these fiery guys are the same as they've always been. Well, I mean the same as the other type of enemies that crawl around walls. You can open up this missile door. This is where you're actually supposed to go before Kraid. One thing is that you get uh, an E-Tank here. Pretty nice, and that little bugger's running away. Also, you notice that the door is gray, so you have to kill all the enemies in the room. So obviously you have to come down here and kill this guy. But, you also notice this door down here. And you can go in the door, and there's a thing, and the thing is high jump boots. So this is all supposed to be done before we killed Kraid. But, screw that, we can kill Kraid whenever we please. And, uh, we also get a missile tank. So, in all in this subset of rooms, we got an E-Tank, Missile Tank, and High Jump Boots. Pretty nice of them to do. So. And we gotta wait for the, uh, little bugger, don't we? Did I kill him yet? Oh, I did! Didn't even see it. Whatever. Little note. We can also go down here. And go through this door. To the right. But it has a uh, super missile gate, so we can't actually go anything. Also, something to note: any door that goes to the right down here in North Air uh, will go into a superheated room eventually. This one actually goes to a save point first. But uh, since we have the various suit, we're not taking damage in the superheated rooms anymore, which is good. We have this big long hallway. But I don't recommend going through it because you get an item later that is. I don't think you even can, can go through it yet without that item. So, uh. There's that. Also, I like how I've been keeping some item secret and some I haven't. I don't really have any basis on that, I just kinda noticed it. So, this is where we're actually supposed to go once we actually beat Kraid and get the value suit. But, obviously, we got that beforehand. And obviously, you're gonna need the high jump boots to get up here, because that's a pretty high jump. Also, before we go, I wanna get this uh, middle square. And you notice that it wasn't actually blue, it was just blank, because we don't have the map yet. And we won't be getting the map until, like, the very end of this trip into North Ham. So, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Yes. I am the master of commentary. And would you? Please. In fact, I'm gonna take a bath in this lava. Because there's missiles. Don't ask me why this missiles. Don't ask me why they did this. I don't know. You're actually supposed to come back here much later with a power-up that lets you go through lava without getting hurt. But I'm like, screw that, I'm already here. Let's just get it now. Which is pretty much the key to doing any game fast. Why would I wait till later when I can get it now? And if you can't get it now, find a way to get it now. And chances are there will be a way. And this room is actually giving me trouble. Alright. And now into the so-called bubble room. Which is a uh, pretty cool place. I don't say that myself. We're gonna save. And, uh, that's what we're gonna call it for this episode. So, uh, while I stand on this save point next time on Let's Play Super Metroid, we're gonna be exploring more of North Air now that we have the bubble room open. And seeing what items we can find. See you guys then.